Well, we've already proven that cap and trade doesn't work. The Kyoto Protocol was the prototypical cap and trade case, and it takes years and years to negotiate all the bells and whistles on that, and then it was very ineffectual. You know, the cap and trade people are pretending that it's not a tax. It is, in fact, an increase in, it will cause an increase in the price of energy. And the only way that they can keep it negligible is by making it ineffectual. If, if, it's, if it's negligible, then it's not going to have an effect on reducing uh, the carbon emissions. The important thing, I think, is the simplicity of a tax or a fee that you apply at the first sale uh, at the mine or the port of entry on oil, gas, and coal. So there'd be very little bureaucracy associated with that. And then I think that money that's collected should be distributed to the public on a per capita basis. So I would say give every legal adult resident one share and each child for up to two children per family a half share and that way about 60 percent of the people would actually get more in the dividend than they would pay in increased energy prices. That would put money in people's pockets so they would be able to make the uh, investments in more efficient vehicles and in their homes and in their appliances and things. And understanding that the price would continue to rise in the future, businesses would make the investments and there would be innovations um, which would allow people to reduce their carbon footprint and keep their tax low.